In this video, we are going to show you how you can use VDK Debug's powerful analysis capabilities to investigate software and hardware activity in your target system. We will show you how you can capture such activity and display it in a completely time-synchronized way, allowing you to see cause and effect between the hardware and software domains of your system. First, let's see what types of analysis are available to us. In the hardware domain, we can use value trace to capture the state of signals in our system, such as interrupts, and display these as traces, like you would see with a logic analyzer. Register trace captures information about the changes in value of the software accessible registers in the system. TLM port trace allows you to capture detailed information about the TLM2 transactions on the system buses. In the software domain, function trace provides a time-ordered graph of the functions being executed by the CPUs in the system. Now let's see how these features can be used to investigate a typical system-level scenario involving hardware-initiated interrupts and the software that services them. First, we will set a hardware breakpoint on updates to the UART interrupt signal for UART0. Now, we will set up the analysis data to be collected. For UART0, we will select register trace, TLM port trace, and value trace. For CPU0, we will select function trace. VDK Debug allows you to control the time at which analysis information is captured. For an interrupt signal, we want to capture what happens when the signal is asserted and deasserted. We do this by configuring the simulation to start gathering information when a transition occurs on the UART interrupt signal. To ensure we capture a full interrupt cycle, we configure the simulation to pause on the third transition of the UART interrupt signal. To achieve this, we set the ignore count to 2. We can now run the simulation until our breakpoint condition is hit. Now that we have captured our analysis information, we can visualise this in Virtualizer Studio's chart view. We can zoom in until we see the UART interrupt signal's assertion and deassertion. The value trace shows the UART interrupt signal together with the input to the system's interrupt controller device. This shows the assertion of the UART interrupt signal and at the same time, the interrupt controller input goes to 20 hex. This is because the UART interrupt is connected to line 5 of the interrupt controller. We can also see this signal returns to zero when the interrupt is deasserted. Function trace shows us how software reacts to the assertion of the UART interrupt. Since the traces are time aligned, it's easy to do this, and it shows a set of generic functions being executed, followed by the PLO11 interrupt routine. The details view shows useful profiling information about these functions, such as time spent in the function and the number of times they have been called. Register Trace now provides additional time-aligned information about the interrupt assertion that allows us to easily see cause and effect. The UART MIS register indicates which interrupt sources from the UART are active. Here we can see that its value is 20 hex at the point of assertion, and if we expand this to show the bit fields, we see that the TXMIS bit is set, indicating that it's the transmit interrupt that is active. The TLM port trace can be used to see what's happening when the interrupt is deasserted. This usually requires some software-initiated action, and we can see that there is indeed an access to the UART registers at this point. The details panel reveals that this transaction is a write of 50 hex to the register at offset 38 hex in the UART device. This is the UART's interrupt mask register, and the access has the effect of masking both TX and RX interrupts in the device and explains the deassertion. Register view confirms this by showing that the interrupt mask register transitions to 50 hex and that the TX MIS bit in the UART MIS register goes to zero at this time. This brings us to the end of this video.